Uh, hello? I I'd like to see about making a reservation for the day after tomorrow. Uh, that's Tuesday evening. Oh, oh yeah. well, right, it is New Year's Eve, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get up pretty early in the morning to fool them. <laughs> Hi there. Don Hollinger here. You know, I thought I'd like to spend New Year's Eve at your place. Four couples. You can? Oh, good. Uh, wait a minute. Just out of curiosity, what exactly are you going to charge for the evening? $70 per couple? In includes what? Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks. Uh, maybe next year. Ready for the next one? Yeah, sure. Uh, hello. You know, I'd, I'd like to see about making a rest. And last but not least, this simple little homespun number. <laughs> uh, hello there. We're just in from London, and we were wondering about New Year's Eve. Which I thought was going to make bells bong and buzzers buzz, but you hate it. I'm sorry. No, I don't hate it. Me, I hate for being stupid and procrastinating. You, <laughs> you I love for looking great. You like dressing? I adore the dress. I just wish I could take you someplace and show you off in it. Ah, uh, no luck. I called Lady Rulibus. Seventy dollars, poor lay couple. Seventy dollars a couple? Of course, that includes paper hats. I wonder if they take ten dollars a couple if we came bareheaded. The Tropicabana is sold out. The golden pheasant won't even answer the phone. The carousel can't accommodate all eight at the same table, et cetera, et cetera. Well, it's really our fault. It's kind of late. New Year's is two days. Yeah, well, don't get upset. There are still plenty of places we can go. Oh? Where? Well, we could go down and look at the hole where the Astor used to be. I don't have anything to wear to a hole. Or we could take a stroll through the Holland Tunnel. Or... Or we could just stay home. You mean here? It could be fun. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, that's great possibilities. It can be a different kind of New Year's. Yeah, and, and instead of a lot of people making a lot of noise about nothing. And I could still get dressed up. Yeah, me too. I paid for two days. I'm going to wear it for two days. <laughs> we could have candlelight. And champagne. And save $70. Now, that's really exciting. <laughs> hey, hey, you think the Bowmans and the others will mind? Are you kidding? After last year, they'd be delighted to get off the hook. Then it's settled. I'll just call them up and explain that I can't go out with them that I'm going to spend this New Year's alone with the most beautiful, the most talented, delightful, desirable woman in the world. The heck you are. You're going to spend this New Year's Eve with... Happy New Year's afternoon tea. Same to you, whatever you said. Honey, put on your prettiest dress. Mother's at the hotel all set for a swinging New Year's Eve. Just the three of us. You mean this New Year's Eve? Certainly. This is no time for you to be alone. Uh, Daddy, I'm not going to be alone. I have a date with Donald. Oh, I'll bring him along. We'll buy another paper hat and another kazoo. I can't. I wouldn't know where to reach him, and he's not going to be here till 10. 10? Isn't that starting the evening rather late? Well, we're not actually going anywhere. We're just going to stay here. Here? What are you going to do here? Well, we'll just sit around, have a little champagne. Champagne? Just the two of you? Two whole bottles? Uh, I'll 
only have a sip or two. That leaves the rest of it for him. Where do you think that will lead? Daddy, you're being very pessimistic. Maybe that's him. Maybe he's four hours early. We can check out of the hotel, drive back to Brewster, and have a swell New Year's Eve party. Yes. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Ruthie! Oh, Ruthie, I'm so happy to see you. Really? Daddy, you remember Ruthie Bauman from next door? Hello. Uh, hi, how are you, Mr. Marie? Oh, Ruthie, I'm so glad you're here. Now, Daddy, there is nothing to worry about. Everything is going to be just fine. We'll call you at midnight and wish you a happy New Year. Promise? No matter what we're doing. I mean, whatever. We'll call. We'll, we'll call. Young lady, if you'd like to look in on my little girl during the evening, I wouldn't think you were being nosy. Goodbye, Daddy. <laughs> so long, Mr. Marie. What was that all about? My father found out that Donald and I are spending New Year's Eve alone in my apartment, and he's worried. What's he worried about? My health. He's afraid you're not healthy? He's afraid I am. <laughs> Anyhow, I just stopped by to say Happy New Year, because we won't see you tonight. Are you and Jerry staying home, too? Mm -hmm. And we're so grateful to you and Don for having suggested it. That's the way everybody seems to feel. The Coopers and the Scots called. They decided to stay home, too. You know, Annie, I am looking forward to the nicest, quietest, warmest, coziest New Year's that Jerry and I have ever had. Well, take my advice and don't tell your father. <laughs> hey, Ann. Come on out. I'm going to start without you. I'm fixing the caviar. It's only 10.30. Uh, uh, honey, I, uh, I thought I'd try a dry run. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty damp for somebody who just had a dry run. My lack of sophistication shames me. Well, my father will be very reassured to know that I'm not spending New Year's Eve with a man of the world. <laughs> Now, what do you think? I've heard about these wild parties. Kissing in the kitchen. Kitchens arouse something in men. What? Hunger. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Caviar is not partaken of in kitchens. Only in the Grand Salon. You know, this is the best idea you've ever had. That I've agreed with. <laughs> to us? To us. What rotten person could that be on a night like this? Any number of rotten people. <laughs> Daddy! Mother! Happy New Year. Happy New Year, darling. You too, Mom. Good evening, Mr. Marie. Hello, Donald. Mrs. Marie, nice to see you. Oh, I'm sure it is. Well, uh, what are you doing here? I, I mean, I, I thought for sure you'd want to drive home early and avoid the late drinking crowd. We decided to stay in town and avoid the early drinking crowd. If we'd gotten killed, I never would have heard the end of it. What's the matter? Did you have a power failure? Power failure? The candles, Donald. Oh. Oh, oh the candles. <laughs> well, well uh, now that you're here, why don't you have a drink? Fine. We'll just have one, and then we'll go right back to the hotel. Of course. That was the understanding. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Would you like an hors d'oeuvre? Well, what have you got? Well, I've uh, got uh, chestnuts and rum and herring and brandy and some uh, smoked liver in white wine. From this kind of a snack, you could end up on Skid Row. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Mother? No, thank you. All right. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, Lou, let's go. Wait a minute, I haven't finished yet. Oh, Mrs. Brentano. Good evening, Anne. Just drop by to invite you downstairs for a happy New Year drink. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you. But you see, my mother and father... And... Who is it, Anne? Oh, it's, it's just a neighbor in the building wanting to say Happy New Year. Why don't you ask her in? 
Oh, yes. Would you like to come in and have a drink with us? Oh, uh, but I have some people downstairs. Oh, I see. Well... Uh, Anne, where are your manners? Yes, well, uh, b by all means. Okay! <laughs> Bruno! Bruno! Vieni, vieni su anche tu! And bring everybody with you! <laughs> but we can't, really. <laughs> no! No, 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 that's, that's not a party. It's just that my mother and father dropped by, and then an older couple in the building came by to say Happy New Year, and, and then some other neighbors, but, well, it's, it's, it's not a party. Oh! Oh, yeah! That, that'll be swell. Oh, okay, fine. Bye. The Scots are coming by for one quick drink with us. The world is coming by for one quick drink with us. Oh, Donald, the world consists of my parents, some kindly old neighbors, some kindly young neighbors, and two of our very best friends. I bow to superior numbers. Well, stop bowing and just be charming. Oh, I run out of cocktail napkins. Yeah, and I'm running a little low on charm. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Hi. Hi, Ruthie. I'm sorry to bother you, but have you got any cocktail napkins? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, sloppy Don, huh? No, sloppy parents. Sloppy Brentanos, Corwins, and Flavors, not to mention the Scots who are due over for a quick drink. I always thought the Scots had the kind of relationship that could sustain an evening alone together, but I guess New Year's separates the, uh, men from the boys. Here, Anne. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, and listen, if you want to come over for a quick drink later, do you? You're welcome. No, thanks. We, um, have other plans. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. And now, a little more bubbly, Scarlet. Jerry, I love the way you do him. Who is it again? <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Ann. Uh, look who's here, the Scots. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Yeah. On the way over, they ran into six friends in search of a party. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yes. We just invited them along for one drink. You don't mind? Mind? Me? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Of course not. Come right in. Join the party. Yes. Uh, by the way, the Coopers called, and they're coming over with some cousins. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Donald. Don't mention it. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, you are the... Uh... Oh, excuse me. These are my friends, uh, the Haversham's. Oh. Uh, these are the Ferns hello. and the Bachelors over oh, here. Hello. They're all married, even the Bachelors. <laughs> Fred Scott, Terry Scott. Uh, the Bachelors, the Ferns. No, 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 no. These are the Haversham's, and uh, these are the Bachelors, and these are the Ferns. <laughs> oh, uh, right. And the Brentanos. I'm Lou Marie. These are the Brentanos. <laughs> Why does everybody just introduce themselves? <laughs> um, how do you do? My name is Don Hollinger, and I've got a secret. I'm out of champagne. Oh, quick, maybe they'll all go home. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I'd better go and get some more. You won't be gone long. <laughs> no. Donald. What? You know what the song says, should old acquaintance be forgot? Yeah? I think so. <laughs> cheese, no more vegetables, no more pickles. Vitamins. Nutritious, but not too satisfying. <laughs> Peanut butter. No more crackers, no more bread. Cornflakes.
don't stop. I'm just here to see if you'd consider unionizing the help. You should complain. I never realized you were so gregarious. What does that mean? It means you're some big inviter. If you're referring to the Coopers, they didn't tell me how many cousins they were with. Cousins always come in bunches. Everybody knows that. Yeah, well, how about the Scots? Do they come by the gross? Speaking of which, who did invite the grosses? Well, you let all the neighbors in. Are you criticizing me for opening the door for my own parents? Did I say anything about your parents? No, but you were getting close. A close is as good as a mile. <laughs> what are you making? Stuffed crispets. Stuffed crispets? Otherwise known as peanut butter on cornflakes. It's come to that. Well, I was considering mayonnaise on shaved ice, but it didn't seem to have much substance. <laughs> Meantime, I forgot what I came in for. To complain, argue, yeah. criticize? <clears throat> More glasses. Oh, we don't have any more glasses. What are they going to do? Well, maybe they can just cuff their hands. <laughs> Donald, that attitude is not what I'd call sharing the load. What are we going to do? Use a little ingenuity. Look at me. I've managed to get through the entire evening on slightly less than a month's salary. <laughs> I'd better go get some glasses from Ruthie. Why don't you take in the Christmas? You're a cook with no confidence. <laughs> With good reason. Excuse me. Excuse oh, me. Thank you very much. Thank Where are you, you going, Ann? The party's just getting started. Yeah, it really looks like that, doesn't it? Thanks a lot. I only wish there was a way of ringing in the new without having to ring out the old. <laughs> oh, hi there. Happy New Year again. Happy New Year again. Now, I'm sorry to bother you again, but could I borrow some glasses? She wants to borrow some glasses, Ruth. Hi, hi. I hope I'm not interrupt, d disturbing you. Get the glasses, Ruth. Get all the glasses we got. It's just that it's a private party, and, and I don't know you. Oh, that's a very narrow attitude. Oh, excuse me. Can I get through, please? This is my apartment. Oh, you're Anne. Anne-Marie. Yes, that's right. You don't remember me? Uh, no. No, I, I don't. I'm sorry. Charlie. Charlie Fitch. This is Mabel. Hi. Hi. Well, we're friends of the Palmers. They introduced us a year ago last May at a ball game. Oh, oh, sure, of course. How are the Palmers? Well, they sounded swell. They just called us from here party. Oh, they're here, too. Isn't that just terrific? Well, won't you all come in and join us? Well, as long as we're in the neighborhood. Hey! <laughs> it's all right, Donald. They're with me. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else to eat? Only my heart. Everybody loved your Christmas. Can't you make some more? I ran out of cornflakes and peanut butter. Eat <laughs> Honey, maybe Ruth has something. Well, I'll ask her. I'll lose a friend, but I'll ask her. Will you look at that nut? <laughs> now, Donald, that's just about enough. You ask him to stop that. Yeah, right. OK, OK. Okay, okay, folks, come on. You want to get down off there? Now, where were you brought up? In a barn? Would you repeat the question? He couldn't hear you. He had a lampshade on his head. <laughs> everybody having fun? Almost everybody. I'm off. I'll buy that. Your lampshade, sir? <laughs> It's, it's me again. Hi, Anne. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you again, but do you have anything I could make appetizers with? Anne, you took every celery stalk, every cracker, my instant matzo meal. I don't even think there's any frost left in the refrigerator. Well, how about peanut butter and cornflakes? Who is it? Yes. What does she want now? Cornflakes and peanut butter. You know, I, I don't understand. Is this a running gag? 
I am making stuffed crispets. Stuffed what? Crispets. How do you make them? Who cares? They're not good. Ruth, look, give her all our cornflakes, all our peanut butter, every bit. Hold nothing back. And Anne? Yes, Jerry. Um, nothing, just Happy New Year. I understand, Jerry, and I could cry. Here, honey, these are all I could find. Couldn't you find another shoe? <laughs> Not that we could drink out of them. Okay. Here's a vase of champagne. Oh, excuse me. Okay, That's a so loving cup. Right. <laughs> It'll hold something, anyway. There you go. Happy, you. New, Happy year. New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, everybody has to have a drink at midnight. A cup of champagne? Oh, well, thank you very much. Okay, here we go. <laughs> No. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. There you are. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. There you go. Okay. Hey, same oh, Jerry! Oh. Ruthie! What are you hey. doing here? Oh, we just kind of got the subtle hint our quiet evening at home wasn't going to work out. <laughs> hey, we can't beat him play with him. You got to have some champagne. It's bad luck if you don't. In a bra and shoe and a bud vase. Uh, you of all people know how many glasses we have. <laughs> <laughs> So these are marvelous, best crispets I ever had. Three minutes, everybody. Three minutes. Uh, three minutes. Woo! Honey, before the year ends, I want to apologize for acting like last night was all your fault. Well, in a way, it was. It started with my parents. And so did you. So for that, I forgive them. Two minutes, everybody. Two minutes. You've done a marvelous job of being a hostess. <laughs> I had the help of a very good host. Boy, it sure looks like everybody's having a good time. Whoever they are. Even the bombers. Everybody but us. Mm. Our lovely New Year's. Well, at least there are two of us to feel the same way. One minute, everybody! One minute! Is it empty? Almost. I'm saving this last little bit for us. You're very good to the help. I try. <laughs> Ten seconds, everybody! Ten! Oh, it's just a minute. Oh, Never here. It's just a minute. Five, four, three, two, one! Happy! Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's having a party. What a silly idea. Much wiser to spend New Year's Eve all alone together. <laughs> It's amazing how many dishes two people can use. Especially when they give a party for a hundred. <laughs> Hello in here. Good morning. Good morning. Don't, don't be cruel. Can I buy the peanut butter? Oh, Jerry, I'm sorry, but I use it all on the crispets. It's all right. I just want the jar. What do you want with the jar? You ever try drinking orange juice out of a plastic bathroom glass? <laughs> here you are. Jerry, is Ruth all right? I certainly hope so. <laughs> You blew it. Blew what? 1968 was leap year. Well, why didn't you say something? That's not the idea. You're supposed to say something. Boy, are you gonna hear from me in about four years? 